March 27, 2013. Present okay. Hart. Nick Camposano. Patty Gale Staff. <coughs> Jean Walker. Chuck Freiberger. <coughs> Amy Pollock. Susan Tucker. Okay. Um, this evening we have a presentation. Uh, Walter Agro's owner uh, application is seeking a variance to allow the construction of a new single family house on an, ex an existing undersized lot that is 5,467 square feet, where 10,000 square feet is required. This variance is required as the house will be constructed 10 feet from the north side property line and 8 feet from the south side property line, whereas 15 feet is required on both sides. This concerns section 14.7.3.3 of the Gosstown Zoning Ordinance. This application obtained approval of variance and a special acceptance by October 2012. This is within the approval special accept, uh, request to be moved the house over by seven feet, therefore changing the dimensions of the impact of the setbacks within the approved special acceptance. The property is located within and on 21 Channel Lane, map, map 19, lot 16, in a residential two district and within the wetland surface water <coughs> conserving district. And we have someone here to present. Thank you. <coughs> State your name for the. My record. name is Eric Mitchell. Thank you. Uh, we prepared these uh, plans for Walter Argerio, who's the, the new owner of the property. I have some plans I can pass out unless you have copies. Mm -hmm. Do you have small plans? No, I mailed them the copy. Okay. Yeah. If you want, have a couple larger plans if you want to see those too. Large ones? This property was, uh, the project was before the board last fall. Um, we have not really changed uh, much in terms of substance on the plan, uh, but what we had had before is the house was uh, shown, the proposed house, which is in green, was shown uh, about uh, seven feet further to the north, and but it was the same distance away from the Piscataquag River. Uh, right now, the uh, the existing houses that were out there were uh, 14 feet from the uh, river <coughs> and our proposed building was 21 feet and we moved it over and still maintained the 21 feet uh, from the Piscara Clock. So that part hasn't changed from us, I think from a, a standpoint of the Conservation Commission, what we had shown for uh, additions to the project for mitigation, uh, we have a, uh, a trench infiltration uh, rock trench underneath the eaves on the southern part of the building, which is the same as what was there before. Uh, the walkway on the north side as well as the uh, parking uh, area will all be uh, pervious pavers. And there are two areas of revegetation, uh, vegetation islands, which would be uh, on the front. All that is the same as what we had before. Uh, the only thing we've done is move the property, uh, move the building proposed down to the south some. The reason why we're doing that is that there uh, is an existing cable TV easement on the north side that's 10 feet wide. And the, the line that uh, was put in when the other buildings were there uh, goes right across the top of the uh, buildings right out to the front. These red buildings, here's the garage, that was the house, and this was the deck. So the line went right over the top of the, the buildings. When we I had talked to the cable company, the pole, which is not in the easement, they were going to move the, the pole over, so it was in their easement, which would move the line over and, uh, and they would uh, get by the side of the house. But technically the house being in the easement, we asked them if that was okay, and uh, they suggested having a separate, a different easement for access around the side and the front, which we could have done, but this access that is here now is for pedestrian use only. No trucks, no cranes, no uh, uh, bucket trucks or anything can go out there. And uh, if it was to go down through here, they would have the ability to bring trucks in across the lawns and do whatever they wanted to. Uh, so the Argerios have uh, decided instead of uh, doing that, uh, they would uh, move the building outside of the easement. Uh, the pole will still be moved over, but that means that the structure has to move to the south about seven feet. 
and that's the reason why we are here. Uh, we had received variances for uh, setbacks to the uh, <coughs> river, um, as well as to the side yard. But before we had uh, four feet from the edge, now we're uh, just over 10, and we had maintained a 15-foot setback on the southerly lot line, but now we uh, are eight feet away. Uh, we had also received a uh, variance for access off of a um, non-public street, which was received. So this was, or I guess currently is good to go uh, if they were to allow trucks to go back and forth through the front. So we've moved it down. Uh, it doesn't really change the environmental aspect of it. Uh, we'll still be doing everything that we were before. Does anyone have any questions? Concerns? Are there buildings on this property now? <coughs> Uh, they've just been torn down. Right. Yeah. Get permits to tear them down. They were there uh, up until when did you? What month did you tear them down? Probably three weeks ago. Yeah, about three weeks ago. Well, because I drove by the other day and I couldn't. You couldn't I find any. I didn't know where I was. <laughs> 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 you couldn't find a house. Uh -huh. No. It's a big back hole in the property. That's well, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. <coughs> Anyone else? So see? from our viewpoint, nothing has really. Nothing changed. has changed except moved it to the side, which doesn't impact. The environment, the river, or anything? Correct. Does anybody have any concerns or? Okay. Very good. Stay right ahead there. Is there any comment that goes to the zoning board or not? Or is it just the Yeah, you should make a recommendation. We'll, be rec we'll make a recommendation. Okay. That um, we have anyone want to make a statement or? Um, I guess I, I move that the Conservation Commission has no issues of concern on this proposal and, and uh, therefore would recommend that it be adopted. I have a second on that one? I'll second that. Excuse me. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. Hey, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was quick. Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty I'm glad it's quick, but I was also very happy to have the sun in my eyes. Driving here, it was almost 7 o'clock. I yeah. know. Yeah, that is true. Right. long winter. That was really nice that is true. That. that is true. Okay. And we have another piece of property. Uh, Phil Methot is an applicant and um, Alfie Methot owner is seeking a variance to have a deck and stairs up to 10 feet from the right side property line, whereas a setback of 15 feet is required. This concerns section 14.7.3.3 and section 4.3 of the Glass Town Zoning Ordinance. This project <coughs> obtained approval of variance and a special acceptance to build a house within the setback on a non conforming lot. This request is for an additional deck and stairs not complied in the original plan. The property is located at 15 Cove Street, Map 24, Lot 63A in a residential two district and within the wetlands surface water conservation district. Do we have anyone here speaking yes. on this? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Phil Methot. Here for this. Um, property being my uncle's. Um, I'm just looking to, uh, this is not the ZBA, this is the composite. This is conservation. 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 Yeah. conservation. Okay. Which is Regards to what the setback Set or the setbacks from the water? Yes. Are you because um, you're in the Shoreland area? Um, they make a recommendation to ZBA, and they will to also planning because okay. when you go to plan for the conditional use, and just because anything you're you're doing to the house, you're going to have to naturally. Okay. Now, is this deck going to be closer to the water? Um, it's in front of the house. Closer, closer than what? I think that's the closer than the. Uh, we had an existing deck, and you're putting on. Is it a larger deck? It's pretty much the same size, adding about the exact same size, like four by five, and then a set of stairs leading to the back. To the back. Okay. I believe the set of stairs is what's yeah. within the. Uh, the stairs. In conservation area. The river, I assume, where the wall is. No, that wall yeah. is uh, it's a retaining wall. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Between properties. 
depending on oh, what I you're see. looking okay, at. Okay, it goes this way. Yep. The stairs will be going stairs down. Go down to, and that faces the, uh, the water. The water. Okay. So the stairs are going to be that much closer to the water. Yes, which is right along the side of the house. Mm -hmm. Are you going to extend beyond the house, closer to the river? Or is it going no. just along the side of the just house? Just along so the, the side, end of the house. And then okay. be doing a, uh, so you're not going actually any closer than the house. The house is already built. This the house is built. The stairs yeah, this, are going to go down. They're not going to yeah, be any closer to the water addition. than what you would have either. Correct. Okay. That's what that just says. And just an easier for. access to the back. Okay. So I mean, where the where the stairs are going up, I mean, there's, there's lawn there anyway. It's quite right. adjacent to the house. It's, I don't see why the ground underneath is still going to be the same. So permeability really isn't changing yeah. in any way. I mean, it doesn't and seem you to have be gutters. Yeah. Any any significant environmental mm -hmm. impact whatsoever. I mean, it's just true. <laughs> Doesn't look as easy as the last one. Yeah, it's just going to come off the side here. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to know where they were going close to the river, but they're not. No, no, no. Hmm? no they're not. Do we have any concerns? or Did you find this one? No. Yeah, no, which one? They had a big number on it. It was like 15. It was easy to find. That's what you found. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't really. I think that is... If you're looking at the house on the road, you're seeing the, the, the garage part, I guess. Yes. And so the deck is, you can't really see the deck too well without walking onto the property. But I mean, you can see it out there a little bit if you couldn't really see it in the back. But I mean, right. it's. And this is, looks like it's just going to go up the side. Anyone have? If, if I can repeat myself. Yes, the last one. <laughs> make both planning and the ZBA, because he has to go to planning, too, for a conditional okay, use. Okay, well, I, I, I move that the Conservation Commission has finds no issues of concern in this proposal. And I uh, would recommend that it be approved as submitted. Second. From our perspective. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming in. Again, that was easy. <laughs> we'll be here longer for ZBA, though. Yeah. <laughs> Just letting you know. Right, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Uh, okay, financial Thanks. report. We don't have the treasurer here, but um, the current balance for the Conservation Commission Credit Use Fund, current use fund, is one hundred twenty-seven thousand five hundred forty. 90 cents and a deposit including interest is 6392.29 was received in and 323,577.81 cents has been put back into a six month CD with People's United Bank and the interest rate is 0.37. The um, budget for 2013 is $5,000 and I think that's because we're Paying for the few extra things. Yeah, it passed. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a question. Yes. Do they shop this out? Yeah. Do they just stay with the same bank because that's where they are? Do they look every time to see what else is out there for the for CD? the interest rate for the yeah for the CD? Well, he he asked you back and no when it came right. out for you, and he did look around, and that was still the best interest rate in the board. Okay, so every time, every six months, he's he, gone. He'll he goes. Up. He goes yeah. out and shops it out. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I just yeah. wonder whether they just... Actually, the interest rate went up quite a bit when he put that in the CD compared yeah. to what, what we were getting. Um, mm -hmm. Anything update on open space? <coughs> um, there's no, uh, no nothing really to report. There have been um, a few landowners who have, uh, who have approached um, to get more information on, on the process, some interest, but there's no uh, proposal to evaluate yet at this time. We're just, uh, as we always do when someone comes forward and asks for information, then um, we respect their privacy and give them information and that uh, will help them decide whether or not they want to proceed with the project. So there has been some interest from different parties in town, but there's no, nothing, no new project re proposal to report at this time. Okay, thank you, David. Uh, minutes from February. 
Motion to accept. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. You abstain. You abstain. You abstain. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. Chuck abstains. He was skiing. <laughs> Sue, you second? Or Amy? Amy. Amy. Okay. Um, we have correspondence from the uh, New Hampshire DES and it's an application for the Rails Trail uh, map 19, it was lot 47 and it's repairing a culvert, there's a copy in your packet <coughs> excuse Bless me you. it looks like they're going to try to really make it look like it should <laughs> it also looks like it needs repair the um, one that was on the town it's yeah. the town, the yeah. Place. It's the yeah. town. Yeah. Any, do you have any concerns or comments? Nice and old with the granite, yeah. granite old, and yeah. bring it back so it's the should historic be, one so yeah, they should be really that. <coughs> quite pretty yeah mm. yeah I mm. just make a comment that we're pleased that pleased with that yeah okay. pleased with the historic uh, when I read through this before I mean nothing um, yeah nothing to <coughs> okay um, we have town and country magazine if anybody wants to look at it, it's here, Maple Syrup Town. And we have Intent to Cut, Update from Norman Road, the LLC, and Brookfield Investment Group, Map 5, Lot 61, and Dash 1, Map 4, Lot 20, and Map 5, Lot 91. Have you noticed <coughs> when you've gone up Norman Road? Have you noticed the timber cut up there? I haven't noticed that. No. I drove up every day Did just because I thought I wasn't looking Did you for notice? Really Have that. they started them? Yeah. They yeah. He, he updated it. He's adding chipping to it. I didn't see it up here either. <coughs> no. Okay. And there's an intent to cut application from David and Ann Yale. Map 4, lot 53B, a new Boston road. And this is just an intent to cut. They're here if anybody wants to look at them. And a volunteer application from which Liz Mitchell was no longer interested. And May 1st is the Drinking Water Protection Conference if anyone's interested. And Saving Special Places Conference mm -hmm. April 4th. That's it. Does anyone have any work in the culvert? Is that a town? The town is doing the culvert. That's I believe that project. was on the. Um, There's a Warren yeah, article. That's right. That's what it was. Warren. Yeah. Um, in regards to that, so this has just been informative to us to what's going on. Are we expected to make a comment? Well, you get copies from the state of the letter comes in, and I didn't have any documents on it, so I asked Megan to give me back up in case you had any questions about the project. So. She emailed me everything, so I just attached it to the letter from the state. Because it's wet? Yeah, because they're repairing the culvert. Mm -hmm. So whenever they um, have to get a permit, <coughs> conservation gets notified as well, in case you do have a concern. Right, and, and that's greatly that's appreciated. Just, I just wondered if we were... Yeah, put that in there too. We appreciate it. Be a note. Oh, man. Something yeah. back. And, although it looks like it'll be a great improvement. Into that old washing machine in the mm. culvert. <laughs> 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 it needs to get out. <laughs> it needs to be cleaned, that's right. Um, do we have any other issues or comments? Uh, do we have, um, so this this woman is no longer interested. No longer interested. She's on the budget committee. Oh, so she, she appointed, so or she elected. elected to the budget committee. Oh, okay. So that's why she's okay. she, can, she says she can only dedicate to one committee. Right. Are we on, are we looking for an alternate from our committee? I think yeah, we have alternate openings. 
But this is what this person would be, it would be an alternate. Yes, she would because be Because everybody else is now a full board member. Mm -hmm. Chuck's an alternate. Oh, well, I, can't well, I, I submitted a new volunteer application too, but okay. like three years or so after whatever it was. Yeah. I don't see it in the open. I, I forgot about that. That's yeah, I think you have Did you put yours? Did you put yours in yet? No, I completely forgot to do that. No. But I think we've had openings for alternates. I think so too. So. Any they sent it out way ahead of time, so you can watch probably it. forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dropped mine off. It's not all the last day. No, I don't think so. Yeah. No, Is there a deadline? It was well, the twenty-first or something like that. He oh, you can still fill out. David and forgot to do his. Go right. Yeah, well, you can do it online too. You can email it in. Okay. I'm glad we brought it up, David. Well, that's the in, in that event of the proposals that I made earlier count. <laughs> <laughs> and they haven't done anything with reappointing. So, do we have any other? Looks like there's two vacant alternate positions. Okay, so we have opening for two. Two. Okay. Any other? Any? Do they go ahead? Do they advertise again for somebody? It's Since been on the website for. On the home page. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other comments? Any other make a motion to? I'll make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> this is good. I haven't had dinner yet. I'm going to go home and cook. I hope this is going to home cook dinner. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Oh, we like these meetings. So let me turn that off. He's recording still. I guess we better right. not say too much. Huh? There. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, there's a little well, studio you said around. you need to have dinner early. I know. I, know. I, I said I'd, it wasn't that much. I was going to wait right. for until seven thirty anyway. Mm -hmm. No, I mean it's a formality that they had to come back, and they're like, if we didn't have them come back, and then Zeke.